fry yay as Isla would say. I've got massive chewing gum in my mouth right now. You know one of those big fat bubble gums that you used to get when you was younger? Like the really big fat juicy ones. Anyway, I am just jumping into the car right now because we are actually late for my nail appointment. If you guys have been following along all week you'll know that my nails are pretty gross. I've not had them done for about a month. And the last time I got them done was actually the first time I've ever had my nails done and I love them. I've tried so hard to grow my nails for about, well, my actually my whole life, but they're so brittle and so soft that they just break as soon as they Seatbelt. get anywhere near a decent length. So I've given in. I got acrylics done from meet and greet. That was back in January. Can you plug that in for me, please? And I loved them. I love them so much. I got them really short just because I didn't want them to get into the way. And now I've decided I'm going to get them redone. The plan was actually to get them taken off, but because I do actually really like them, I'm just going to get them redone today. And you're coming with me, aren't you, babe? Yeah, I'm going to Why do you get yours up? <laughs> no, <I'm full. laughs> Oh my goodness. That was two hours and a half of my life. I'm never getting back. <laughs> oh, I can't believe how long it takes to do nails. I was literally sat there and I thought it's gonna be like a 30 minute appointment. So I'll just sit down, watch some YouTube, reply to some comments. I did that, another two hours passed and she still wasn't done. Oh man. So I replied to a lot of comments and I watched a lot of YouTube videos oh. and now it's half past two. But I've got nice nails. So. We've got nice nails, but the girl's coming home from school in a half an hour and we've filmed nothing today and we've done nothing today <laughs> apart from go to an L bar. <laughs> That's crazy. Let's have a look at your nails. I feel so good because, 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 <laughs> because they were longer, they were falling off whenever I touched my hair, my hair was literally getting under the nail. Yeah. It was a horrible feeling, but obviously now they're not and I just went for a load of sparkle, you know? Very nice, Can't very beat nice. beat the sparkle. Looking good. This camera won't focus on it, but looking oh, good. I'll do it on mine. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> There we go. That's my nails. I've gone for rainbow, kind of unicorny glitter. Love them. Okay, so we only have a very small amount of time left before we have to get the girls like literally 20 minutes. So we've got a little bit of a mission before then. We need to grab Isabel a pair of plain black jeans for her sleepover party tonight because her pair of black jeans that she loves, she ripped them in New York. Unfortunately, she caught them on a fence and she's got a rip in them. So. We need to grab her a pair of black jeans for tonight and go and drop it off with her at school for when she finishes. Oh, that's so section. cute. Go. Yeah, let's keep walking. We need to stop looking at stuff like this. I would have bought <laughs> that. I would have bought that. For, I need to buy Nikki's baby something. Yeah. Oh, look how cute that is. Is that cute? We need to go and visit it. My back. Did you say visit, visit it? it? Visit him, sorry. My bad. <laughs> sorry, Nikki. Oh. That's really sweet. So cute. Anyway, come on, we ain't got that. Okay, we found him. We've got the age 13 jeans with the rips in like She's like, she I'd requested. like some. I'd like some if you don't mind with rips in. They're only 12 pounds. That's not bad though, is it? Yeah, that's pretty good. Right girl, let's do it. Literally everywhere I turn right now, there's references to New York. We've got Brooklyn over here. I even walked around the corner just now. And we've got New York. Woo! Take me back guys. Take me back. Oh my gosh, I am so in love with how sparkly my nails are. We just got home from the school run and dropping off Isabel's skinny jeans. Funnily, a funny story for you guys, I weren't sure if to tell you all this because I know some of you guys can be quite savage and not in a good way, but this morning I went to get myself ready, as I do, got out the shower, went to get myself ready, and I could not find, for the life of me, my foundation. It was nowhere. Bearing in mind, this is a new foundation that I only got two, one day ago. A day ago. I literally got it a day ago. And then I suddenly thought to myself, wait a minute. I know for sure where that foundation's gone. It's not in this house. It's in Isabel's school bag. I can 100% guarantee that's where it's going to be. So I sent her a message. If you watched yesterday's vlog, you may know that Isabel had asked me if she could borrow one of my nude lipsticks and an eyeshadow palette. Oh, 
and the eyeshadow palette was a nude one too so like really light colors nothing too dark and i said yes but she knows for a fact that if i if she asked me if she could borrow a foundation i would say no way because she's 12 she doesn't need to be wearing foundation she has no blemishes on her skin she's not got spots not that you should wear foundation even if you have that's more reason not to anyway I sent her a text saying, Isabel, do you have my foundation? Because if you do, <coughs> just know I am going to be super mega annoyed with you. And she rang me on her break and said, hello, very sheepishly. <laughs> and I was when I was getting my nails done, I said, Isabel, did you get my message? And she said, yeah, I did. I'm really, really sorry. I do have it with me. So she said she'd take it up to the office and leave it there. And then when I dropped off her jeans, obviously I could pick up my foundation, which is what I did. But I just wanted to say, teenage girls or pre-teens, it's not called steal your mum's foundation. <laughs> Comment down below if you're a parent and you've got a teen or a tween and I think it's good to uh, take your foundation because that's not good. Anyway, I kind of don't blame her. You know, she's going through the age, all of her friends are, are talking about makeup and foundations and what foundations and makeup they're going to be wearing this weekend for their first ever sleepover. And I kind of get it, you know? I get it, that was one to me. In fact, her teacher, when I went to pick it up said, to be honest though, after we all had a bit of a giggle, do you see yourself in her? And I was like, oh my gosh, so much, so much. Anyway, I've got my foundation back, Isabel's got her jeans, and we just got home. The little two are upstairs, just changing and washing their hands. I actually got Isla some new cute pyjamas from Matalan. Look how cute these are. I'm obsessed with anything unicorn at the minute. I didn't get as many just because I got her some two weeks ago from TK Maxx, which are still brand new. And then, I think we're going to open some more mail. The girls saw a few more, oh my gosh, oh. Foundation just smashed all over the floor. <laughs> a few more packages that we didn't manage to get round to opening yesterday and they've asked if they can open them today. So I think we're going to do that before Friday night swimming. So this is my new bag and I am so thankful for it. And I love it so much. And I put some eyes right there and then he's thinking about something. And I'm going to show you what is in my bag. So this is my towel and then I've got this little one zip. So Chris has just taken the little two to their swimming lesson. I was going to go with them this week. However, whenever I go to swimming, we always end up getting a takeaway on the way home. Because by the time they've got into the pool, done their lesson, finished the lesson, we've washed all the hairs, washed all the chlorine off of them, got them all dressed and changed. It's super late. It's like, well not super late, but it's like 7pm and who wants to start cooking on a Friday night at 7pm? Not me. So this week I decided I was going to stay at home and prepare a lasagna because we're trying to not eat too many takeaways. Like, lately. Just because we're trying to be a little bit more healthy. That doesn't mean, guys, by the way, that doesn't mean that we're only eating vegetables for the rest of our lives. That just means we're trying to eat a bit more healthier, not eat as many takeaways, not eat as, out as much. But that doesn't mean, it frustrates me sometimes when I say this because then the second we eat out, we get completely slaughtered. You said you weren't eating out, you said you were doing this. So let me just say guys that although I'm saying we're starting to eat healthily, that doesn't mean that we're never eating out again or we're never going to order a takeaway again. Anyway. I thought I'd stay home, make a lasagna and some vegetables for tea tonight and have it all ready for when they get home. Isabel, if you didn't watch yesterday's vlog, is actually at a sleepover tonight with her friends. Oh, actually, I think I mentioned that a little bit earlier on with the whole makeup incident. Anyway, I just opened a couple more packages. We had about 10 left that we didn't manage to open yesterday just because it got late from our PO box haul. So I just thought I'd do a quickly, quickly, quick, quick, quick couple of thank yous. The first one is a really, really awesome box of goodies. I haven't opened the presents yet just because the girls are not here and it wouldn't be right for me to do that. But they're from Christina and they're all the way from Germany, which I think is so cool. And oh my goodness, tell me that doesn't look divine. I love hazelnut and chocolate. And that looks delicious. Like I just said, guys, didn't say I wasn't eating chocolate at all. Those 
Chris loves and I do too. And then what's in here? What are these? Uh, what are they? Oh, are they bath bombs or something? It's a good job I read that because I probably have eaten them. I think they're bath bombs. And then Esme, Isabel, Isla, and a juicy, a juicy. We all know what this is going to be, right? Yay! Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Oh, it's a little cute pineapple light. That's so sweet. So thank you so much for those, Christina. The girls will open theirs when they get home. We also, I'll just remove this big scary knife, received so many goodies. Yes, guys, I know those are Christmas items, but I could not show them. It's another package that got lost under the huge pile and we've only just opened, but a massive thank you to Harley, Luke and Isla for those. Esme and Isla, my Isla, also got one. And then... Lucy, who has an account I have for Taylor, also got these. So this is Isabel's, obviously that's Chris's, a bath bomb for me, and one of these for Esme and Isla. So, oh my gosh guys, we're so lucky. Also, how cute is this? It's like a really cute little tweeny eyeshadow set. I just thought that was adorable. Isla's got a huge pile of letters on her bed, which she's going to open when she gets home. She's literally took them all to one side and said, no one can open these, I want to open them. So once again, I just want to say, if you've sent anything to our PO box, we appreciate every single gift and we thank you all very, very much. Right now, I need to put all this stuff away and go and prepare the veg. It's a bit of a wild and windy night here yes, tonight, isn't it, girls? We've literally just come out of swimming. You guys did so good. So good that me and mum might even let you have a slumber party at home tonight in the cinema room. So we just stopped off at Asda. We're going to grab some snacks. You guys can choose one thing each, okay? Dear, let's go. And we have to share. You have to share? Yeah. Okay, come on then, let's do it. All right, guys, what are we thinking? What are we looking at? Some mini whispers, good choice, Isla. Very good choice. What are you thinking, Esme? Caramel, caramel nibbles. These ones? Yeah. Can you reach them? Do you want to get them? There you go, baby. Isla's sporting her gorgeous new unicorn pajamas as well. They look really sweet, Isla. Yeah. How do they feel? Um, nice and cozy. Are they all snuggly? Yeah. Your look, hair looks a bit wavy. I think we need to give that a good brushing when we get home, there, babe. Have I been brushed it? These another brushing, I think. It's been a bit wind blasted outside. Yeah. <laughs> And they are now tucking in. Is it delicious? Lasagna. Yeah. Lasagna. Tell me what you think. <laughs> <laughs> Did you do good at swimming? Is it nice? Is it delicious? Good yeah, girls. Make sure you eat all your veggies. Uh, we were doing um, handstands and flips in the pool, and at the end, we had to, we got to have a little bit of fun because um he, um. My swimming teacher was seeing who could do handstands. Yeah. So it was when it was my turn. My turn was first, and then all the, I was waiting for all the other people to do a handstand. And the teacher said it was the only one that said I was really, really good. Well done. That's amazing. So we just finished cleaning up after dinner, and we've decided we're going to have a family Friday night games slash movie night tonight. And we're starting off, Isla, Savannah. What are we starting off with, babe? Word search. Word search, Isla's favorite game in the whole world. Esme's got her LOLs cracking over there. Right, so what you have to do is, you spin this to get onion or bread. <laughs> yeah. Spin it to get an onion or some bread. <laughs> and then, if you find it, you've got to put your counters on it. Here we go. Okay. So that's on, you see who finds the Finds the so. word first, and whoever finds the word first, you get your counters and put your counters on it. And then okay. whoever's got the most counters at the end of the game, when all the words have been I won last time. Is the winner. Yeah, I won last time. Okay, I see. Yeah. Cool, cool. And he said, um, 
unsuitable for under five. And you busted it at five years it, old? I think it says unsuitable for under eight. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, you were savage, the Nyla, aren't you, babe? I don't know how to do this. I think I've done it wrong. How do you do this, Esme? I can't remember. Yeah, that's how you do it, and then you can spin it. Yeah, but. Oh. Okay. They got set. We got set. Right. Okay, guys, who's going first? No, no, no. It's a race against time. How do you we mean? We all have to find toast now. Oh, okay. It's the moment of truth. We've finished the game. Oh, no. Now we're all taking off our counters and counting up who's scored the most. Not gonna lie, guys, I think it might be me. I think it might be Isla. No, I think it might be me. <laughs> Esme, what Tw did you get? 26. <gasps> I got 26 as well. You got 26 too? Yeah. Isla? 23. <gasps> Good. So, is it going to be a draw between Daddy and Esme? Or is Mummy going to pull it out the bag? My score was 39. <laughs> Yay! I know! I know! That's a lot more than everybody I know! Recount them! Did I definitely get 39? I got 25! Yay! I got 25! Well done, everyone! You guys all did so good! That was a good game, girls! That was really good fun! Can I play one more time? Well, I would say yes. But if you girls want to watch a movie, we need to get ready for bed now. We've got this bed makeup, okay? Okay. Yeah? Yeah. So we just finished up our game of word search. That game's so much fun. Seriously, it's such a fun family game and I find it quite educational for the girls too because they're using their brains and finding words and learning spellings and things like that. I absolutely love that game. Anyway, they are just settled down for a sleepover. A movie? Yeah, we're watch it after this. What, what are you eating right there? Guys, forgive me as a parent. It's Friday night, you know? Mm. <laughs> but share them with me. <laughs> what are they? They're actually ones that you don't like. Ooh! Guys. <laughs> caramel, not caramel, Cadbury is my favourite chocolate. This is the only Cadbury chocolate I really, really, really don't like. So the girls are currently watching LOL Dolls. LOL! Okay, why do I wait? LOL! <laughs> <laughs> and Isla did so very rightly point out that she's sad because they're having another sleepover and Isabel's not here. But don't worry, girls. Isabel is off having her own sleepover, and the mum of the back tomorrow? in the morning, yes. Yes, maybe tomorrow night we can. I uh, don't remember agreeing to a sleepover on Saturday night. Yeah, with Isabel. I mean, it's only fair, right? Yeah. <laughs> her, the mum of the birthday girl that Isabel's at her sleepover tonight did just message and say everything's fine and send some pictures and things. So Isabel's having a great time. But it's time to say good night to these girls. Do you want to say good night to our iFam? Night! Night! And we'll see you all tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll give them half an hour or so to have their slumber party before we turn it off and send them to sleep. Me and Chris have a few things to do. We've got school uniforms to wash. You know what I mean, guys? All those fun mummy daddy chores that we have to do on a Friday night. Or. Are you a Sunday night person? You know, leave it all to the very last minute because if it was up to Chris, nothing would be done until Sunday. I kind of like to get it done Friday, go in the washing machine, get all the uniform washed so it's ready and I can fully enjoy my weekend. Anyway, I posted a, p a tweet on Twitter as we are so fastly approaching 900,000 subscribers and we are doing a 900k giveaway and i did a tweet today asking what you guys would like for our giveaway we do have a couple of ideas already and one of them's really special which we're definitely including but you guys comment down below what would you like for a 900k giveaway because you know it'd be good to get your opinions and ideas right babe Heck yeah. Heck yeah. <laughs> anyway guys that's it for today's vlog hope you've all really enjoyed it tomorrow and this weekend we're going out to do some pictures I think on Sunday 
it's meant to be really nice weather we've got some pictures to take a lot of you guys have been asking when we're doing a new intro we're hoping to get that done very soon i'm not going to commit and say sunday but we have plans to try and get the ball rolling on sunday but we'll see hope you all enjoyed this vlog give me a big thumbs up if you did guys and we'll see you all again tomorrow at 6 p.m good night